Hey there, are you interested in developing an event app or website? Or maybe you have a unique idea to create an artist booking platform, sports ticketing app, conference marketplace, online music platform, or even an AI-based art gallery event software? Well, stay with me, because I'll share a step-by-step -step guide on how to do that and save your money. My name is Denis Babich, and I'm the director of a software development company. In this video, I'll share with you how to test your idea, outplay your competitors, hire the right team, and save your money during the process. All this information comes from the expertise of my agency, successful startups, and top world practices combined into one ultimate system. So, let's dive in. Okay, creating an event management app is an absolutely vital idea, and here is why. The event app market is highly variable, offering huge room for improvements and innovation. When you create an event app for your audience, you you can combine multiply ideas such as ticket purchasing, similar to Ticketmaster, an event organization system like Eventbrite, and even incorporate AI or a chat GPT algorithm to create something truly unique. This is what your users might have been waiting for decades. Something similar to what Steve Jobs achieved with his first iPhone. All right, let's start by identifying the core components of your event app. Let's say you want to develop an event management app for local niche concerts with social network elements. Then your app will Will contain elements such as a mobile app for iOS and Android, a web app, the web app for event organizers, and the web admin zone. Okay, when we're talking about the mobile app, it will include features such as login, search events, ticket purchasing, social functions, and so on. The web platform will have almost identical features to the mobile app, but with expanded functionality and much more user-friendly interface. The web app for organizers will have functions such as event setup, payments, discounts, event management, refunds, and so on. The web-based admin zone will provide functionality such as user management, event and location management, offers the discount management, analytics, verifications, and more. All right, when it comes to developing your software product, it's important to keep in mind that one of the most crucial aspects is an MVP, which stands for Minimum Viable Product. Look, we're talking about your startup here, and the best approach for you in the early stages is to create an MVP. It will help you build your software with just four to five basic functions and your secret ingredients. That's pretty much all you need at this point. This approach will allow you to move swiftly, save a significant amount of money and resources, and test the market properly. Remember, a basic MVP app that's developed quickly and already has users can easily attract funding from angel investors, with a valuation starting from $1 million. That's why creating an MVP is so important. Now, let's dive into pricing. When it comes to identifying the price for your software, there are several things you have to keep in mind, such as quality assurance, bug fixing, project management, maintenance, and risks. Estimating the cost of developing unique features at this stage can be quite challenging. But don't worry, because I'm here to provide you with pricing information for the basic MVP functionality. Here's a pro tip for you. If an investor contract requires an in-house development team, you'll need to allocate a budget based on US or EU rates. However, you always have the option to outsource your software development expenses to Ukraine, which can be a real game changer when you're looking for value for money. Ukraine is an absolutely hidden gem in the software development world. Many successful startups such as GitLab, Grammarly, and Jubal have already recognized the huge value of hiring Ukrainian developers to build a top-notch software. Ukrainian developers have excellent English skills, extensive experience in outsourcing development, they have innovative thinking, which helps them always think outside of the box. On top of that, they are hard workers. Okay, so the most pressing questions you might have right now is probably about which features to include in your MVP and how to prioritize them effectively. And the answer is super simple. Follow the methodology that I'm about to share with you. This comprehensive methodology that I've developed will assist you in identifying essential features, make the pricing accurately, finding the best execution team, outplaying competitors, achieving product market fit, and saving a significant amount of resources. Moreover, it will shed light on why the app price can range from 29 grand to 85 grand. Let's start. All right, so the first step is the business plan. And this is 
is where the modified Lean Canvas comes into play. It's like a business plan on a napkin that uncovers all the hidden aspects that you need to focus on. It will take something about an hour. The order of the box and the process is crucial. It's been created after experience with 1000 Lean Canvas workshops with my clients. It starts with understanding your user groups and their main pain points. What are their struggles? What issues can your service address and make their lives easier? These boxes are the core elements of your business success. Next, explore your competitors and the solutions they offer. Identify their advantages, disadvantages and the strategies that you can adopt. Your goal is to find the space where you can outshine your competitors by creating a unique solution for your specific niche without reinventing the wheel at the same time. Now, let's talk about your unique unfair advantage. This is the powerful factor that sets you apart from your rivals. It could be exclusive partnership with artists, cheap user acquisition channels, or a strong brand that will drive your sales. Once you identified your unique edge, it's time to target your early adopters. These individuals will be the pioneers who will test your service and give you the most valuable feedback. Discover where they spend their time in line and create a cool marketing hook to engage them. Give them something truly powerful. This could be done via social media, influencers, or the timeless power of word of mouth. Also, if you're interested in learning more about Lean Canvas and get insights from 1000 plus my workshops, I've created a full video about that. Link in the video description. Remember, don't just think about the present, plan for the future and envision global growth and international expansion of your platform. Having a clear vision for your app's future in 5 or 10 years is crucial for attracting investors and achieving unicorn status. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'm always excited to help you out and I'll personally review each comment. Also, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to stay updated and gain more business insights. Thanks. One of the most crucial steps in creating your startup is achieving product market fit. Believe me, it's a game changer. So how can you offer innovative and disruptive solutions that addresses the pains and gains of your target audience? Well, completing your value proposition table is the key to achieving that. Imagine you have an exciting idea for event management app with social network elements. Before diving right into the development phase, it's important to identify the pains and gains of your users. It could be annoying waiting list when you want to buy a ticket in the fire zone, limited ticket availability, non-flexible refund policy, high customer service fee, and so on. Once you have identified all these issues, it's the perfect time to leverage your web or mobile platform to tackle them. You can provide solutions such as an automated system of purchasing the ticket without user engagement. You just have to fund the amount and choose the fire zone and the system will do the rest automatically. Next, subscription to your favorite artist fun club to be able to have an exclusive access to the tickets when the sale will start. Next, clear and user-friendly refund rules and an event subscription service fee instead of commission fee. Look, when you prioritize the most significant value for your audience and keep that at the core of everything you do, you're setting up your business for success. Remember, small companies and startups can easily outperform industry leaders by being agile, flexible and focusing on unique and local niches. You don't have to compete with everyone in the market. Instead, concentrate on a specific audience and provide them with the best possible value. And always keep in mind that it's crucial to fall in love with your customers' problems and not just your solutions. Alright, if your goal is to create an app that can outperform your competitors and satisfy your clients, then it's crucial to do your homework and conduct proper competitor research. Look at the industry giants for inspiration. They've mastered the game and you can learn from them by studying their user flows and proven methodologies. Remember, there is no need to reinvent the wheel completely. However, don't limit your research to the big players. Expand your scope and explore even startups in smaller niches and different countries. You never know what you might discover. There could be a hidden
hidden gem that gives you a competitive edge in the market. Trust me, this exploration could be the most beneficial factor in your startup success. On top of that, you can learn which startup ideas was successful and which one fails. If you need assistance or support, feel free to reach out to me through any of the contact details listed in the description below. I'm here to help you and I'd be delighted to share my niche knowledge that could significantly impact your startup success. Let's outperform competitors together. Okay, once you've thoroughly researched your competitors, identified all your customers' problems and generated a range of solutions, it's time to properly prioritize your software features. You will need to decide what features you must, should, could and won't develop. This methodology will help clarify the essential vision and core path of your project, enabling it to progress smoothly while saving significant amount of time and money. When it comes to creating an MVP for your app, it's important to keep focus on what matters most to your users. And that's where a story map comes into play. With a well-crafted story map, you can break down the user requirements and map out the essential features that need to be developed and launched quickly. But hold on, there is more. To ensure maximum user engagement and satisfaction, it's important to develop separate story maps for each user type. Think of it as providing each user group with their own treasure map, guiding them directly to the features that are most important to them. By doing this, you can identify the specific needs of each group and prioritize the features accordingly. This way, your MVP will meet their crucial needs and provide the best possible value at this stage. So, the true power of a story map is the ability to help you save money on one hand, while also enabling you to focus on delivering the most value to your audience at the appropriate stage on the other hand. Marketing may sound like a challenge, but in reality, when you understand your customer problems and can create a powerful answer, then it becomes a much simpler task. So, the first step is to create unique and compelling offers that motivate your users to try your platform at least once. It could be something like an automated ticket purchase to Firezone, virtual 3D tour, post-event exclusive show, and so on. Once you have your killer offers ready, it's important to broadcast them. Utilize social networks like Facebook, Instagram, Google, YouTube, and even TikTok. Identify the most cost-effective network for user acquisition through testing. Remember, your ads need to be engaging and appealing Nobody enjoys boring ads. Are you interested in delving deeper into the world of startups and businesses? Do you want to connect with business-minded founders and entrepreneurs where I share a tons of insights and host live chats? If so, click the link in the video description and join me on my Telegram channel right now. All right, let's talk about wireframing. Wireframes are the blueprint of your app's business logic, where you create every possible user scenario and case. It helps you uncover all the hidden or unexpected functions. For example, let's say you are in the process of creating your event app. You've covered the basics like user authentication, event search and payment functionality. But what about situations where the organizer have to change the event location stadium? Have you incorporated a feature to manage such scenarios? These are the types of issues where a wireframe will help you identify potential gaps. Look, once again, the wireframe serves as the foundation for your app's functionality, and it's crucial to make this foundation rock solid. Next, let's delve into the UI design of your app. There are two key aspects to consider. Firstly, the UI design should cater to users of all age groups, so the navigation should be modern but not too fancy. Secondly, and most crucially, your UI design should facilitate users in solving their problems with the fewest clicks possible. Your task here is to incorporate industry standards icons, object location and a color scheme that will help your users in swiftly and effectively navigating your app. Forget about branding, fancy logos and other visual design nonsense. This won't bring value neither you nor your customers. Center your design around your user problems, minimizing clicks, accelerating user goals pass and modern design aesthetics. Draw inspiration from industry leaders like Ticketmaster, Eventbrite and so on. Here's a helpful pro tip for you. To generate really cool UI design style and ideas, explore portfolios on websites like Behance or Dribbble. Search for event, booking, travel apps and incorporate design elements that catch your attention. And remember what Picasso said, good artists 
copy great artist still if you found value in these tips please show your support by hitting that like button and subscribing to my channel your support will boost this video visibility in the youtube algorithm and you don't miss any valuable business videos from me thank you now let's delve into the tech stack this is one of the most crucial aspects when creating an event app Therefore, choosing the right tech stack is vital to avoid challenges such as slow user interfaces, non-scalable and non-maintainable cloud infrastructure, high costs, payment and subscription issues, and the risk of your app is going offline during traffic spikes. If you're planning to create an event app, it's essential to select the appropriate tech stack that enables rapid development of your minimum viable product. Flutter or React Native are excellent choices for Swift mobile app development. For backend development, Python, Jenga, Node.js, and Amazon Web Services are perfect options. React, Vue.js, and Angular are ideal for crafting web applications with easy. Additionally, leveraging third-party services like Stripe and Braintree for payment processing, Twilio for SMS, and SendGrid for emails can can expedite your development timeline. Remember, it's crucial to choose the appropriate tech stack for each stage of your software development journey. This starts with a minimum viable product, but also involves planning your future feature set when designing your app architecture. The right tech stack it's like receiving a correct diagnosis after a blood test. All right, let's discuss the Agile process, one of the most powerful methodologies out there that can significantly speed up your development process. However, did you know that in some situations it can actually slow down your project by up to 30%? Picture this. You have a team of five developers who understand their roles, communicate effectively, and have made significant progress in coding the product. They could use simple tools like Trello, Asana, Google Docs and quick Zoom meetings. However, as your team expands to 15 or more people, you may face some challenges such as losing your key developers, complex and time-consuming onboarding processes, reduced team productivity, communication issues, missed deadlines, and a decline in code quality and architecture. To avoid these problems, it's important to hire a tech lead to oversee the team and code architecture. Find project manager with tech background, implement Scrum, Sprints, Backlog, and retrospective processes. Conduct daily stand-ups to keep everyone updated on pending tasks. Utilize advanced tools like Jira to manage tasks and track your team velocity. Choosing the right tools at the appropriate stage can accelerate your progress towards achieving your minimum viable product. However, keep in mind that even the best tools can lead to failure without the necessary knowledge or expertise. Another pro tip for you. Agile methodology can be a valuable asset not only in your software development journey, but also in your daily tasks, business, and marketing, it's really powerful tool. Collecting user analytics is a crucial practice in the tech industry, allowing you to uncover essential metrics like unique visitors, user behavior, and session frequency. Using powerful tools such as Google Analytics, Session Stack, Firebase, and Mixpanel will enable you to gather valuable data. By continuously monitoring your app's performance and analyzing user feedback, you can identify areas that need improvements to meet the happiness of your users. All right, if you're thinking of creating an event web or mobile app, but you're not quite sure where to start and you need some advice on how to start and how to play your competitors, feel free to shoot me a message via Calendly and we can have a 30-minute call. Trust me, I'll be more than happy to share some insider knowledge and expertise with you that could be a real game changer for your startup. So, what you're waiting for? Let's make it happen. See ya!